Lord up. This is not in Gabriel. And we're second and third year students in Copper College of Mixed Critical Learning. It's a mixed school of approximately 650 students and around 50 teachers. We face many problems with litter, so when we heard about these streets, we jumped at the opportunity to get involved so that we might get ideas on improving our litter problems and food sandwiches. We met with Anthony last March, who gave us some vital information on how to get started. I'm Marla, and I'm a second year student in Copper College. Our first step is to analyze the problem. So we carried out a litter survey at different times during the school day in the immediate school area and the main surrounding area to identify where our main problems were. We also conducted a student survey to discover their attitude to littering and recycling. Hi, I'm Niall, I'm a third year student at Comfy College. Once we had identified where our main problems were, we had to develop a plan of action. We found the Neat Streets website to be very helpful in providing ideas on how to tackle our problem. We were also very fortunate to have links with the German school with, uh, with who we kept in contact with after their school exchange to with their school. The school is very environmentally focused, so we found that we were able to share our ideas, which we still do via email. Hi all, my name is Gabrielle and I'm in third year. We set ourselves targets so that we would be able to measure our success and as a way to pass the information on to all of the school to encourage litter reduction and to increase environmental awareness. Our targets were as follows. To reduce litter in the school and local area. To increase awareness about littering and recycling. To change students and teachers' attitude towards littering and recycling. And to foster a sense of pride in our students and teachers. The next step was to take action. We started off with a clean up day of the school and the surrounding areas. We put the rubbish on display in the main social area to make everyone aware of our litter problems. We also had a day when transition years joined forces with us to plant flowers. We also reshaped the lawns and we extracted weeds and gave our gardens a good spring clean. We had great fun doing so. It was a lot of work, but it was good to get the local community, the school community, and the Tuddy Towns Committee working together. Our principal, Mr. Hare, reminds students and teachers on a weekly basis to empty a recycling bin and donate mobile phones to the Jack and Jill Foundation. Our notice board is located on the main corridor, where everyone can see it. To date, as a school, we are very successful. We've reduced our litter and raised awareness as to the importance of recycling and keeping our school litter-free and a greener place to be. In the future, we plan to develop a wildlife garden in our little black spot to try to stop the litter problem. Science teachers are going to help with this and we will seek sponsorship from our local garden centre. We have submitted an application to Dermot Gavin, the Jules Payne Project, to paint run down areas of our school and local area. Transition year students and members of the Parents Council are eager to help. By doing this, we hope to make people appreciate how beautiful our school and the things it can be. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention.